previously on the last episode of the Charger Project. So today we're going to be working on taking out some of the interior pieces. Piece two! Ow! That looks dirty as f Wow. My friend rubbing up against all this because that is, that is a bunch of rust. That's a rust bucket. So it's about, just about four. We're going to go on to trying to spray paint everything. Let's go! I started with this piece. This is, I'm pretty sure the driver's side. Driver's side. I don't like to get the passenger side, driver's side. So I started with this. I'm gonna try and go a bit higher in grids. And we're gonna spray paint. See how that looks. And then I took this piece, which is the passenger side. I'm gonna tape off the chrome pieces, just that way I don't mess it up. And uh, this Webber stripping as well, just that way I don't mess that up. So far, all I've done is just sanded and uh, did one coat. It was very humid, so I don't think it did well for some of the pieces. But today, we're going to try and finish these pieces. At least put one coat on and then get this done. 
since it was raining. I tried to just protect as much as I could. But actually it looks pretty good. The only thing that I'm going to do is probably do one more coat and then come in with a brush and get the small spots. And then what we're going to try and do this back part here. So yay! Why? Why? I legit throw the bottle of oh, the can over here. And what? Why? Why? Now I definitely have to get new mirrors. I, I, Why well, there you go seven years of bad luck? Uh, damn it! F me, man. F me. Of course. Of course. Uh, I love this card. I love my project card. So one thing that most I wanted to do is fix this mirror. This is my side view mirror. I don't know what's wrong with it, but yeah, I want it back. So I'm going to try and uh, play around and see what I can do. So right now, I'm going to be taking the plastic off. Um, for the past few days, it's been raining, and I haven't been able to work on this on the interior as much as I wanted to. So uh, what we're going to do so for the next like, like day to basically this upcoming weekend, it's supposed to be sunny. So what I want to do is do two more coats of this uh, on this piece, and then a crew coat to kind of protect the the paint, and then it'll be all good. And then I can start putting stuff back in here. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and order the engine. I ha I haven't ordered the new engine yet, but. We're gonna do that. I'm 
I'm not sure how, yeah, you guys can see it. See this part right here is blue. Here, here is a bit blue. Here is a bit blue, here is a bit blue. So yeah, I'm gonna do like one more touch up. So it's currently the next day since the last clip I recorded. Um, I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see this since it's night time. But here it is. Looks pretty good. So, in the last clip, I put the tape here, and now I put the tape here. We're just gonna go around and do that one behind me, and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna try and cover the nails as best as I can, um, but no promises. I'm trying to get this all white, but let's do it.
And then the last clip you saw me put in the first layer of paint. We're about to do the second coat in the back. Here's how it looks so far. On camera, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, in person, it kind of looks worse. But happy with this part. I think I'm just going to back up a bit more to that part right there. Um, the metal part, I think that turned out the best. As you can see, so I'll probably do two more coats um, all the way around. So that way it, it just goes in. But yeah. Welcome back. Um, we're about to finish the uh, some of the spray paint. I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. So I just came back today, and I've done this. I've I've done the back seat. I've put another coat on this part, and so far it's all white. Even that part. Um, anyways, I'm still waiting for this to dry. I think it's still a bit wet. It is still a bit wet. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on these parts I hear, the, the silver parts, the parts that I don't want it to be white anymore. Um, I'm not too concerned about this dash pad since I'm gonna be getting a new one anyways. But, this, the vents, I am, I'm more than concerned about. And I am going to be doing this part as well. So, it's just a matter of getting everything ready to go. I don't know what this part is. What is this? I don't know. In there, though. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into it.
to work on preparing this part, the the I guess the blue part. But first, we gotta go ahead and get clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some alcohol on a uh, some alcohol on a micro cloth here. I'm gonna wipe it down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some plastic on the on the bottom here, and just that way I don't get this part. I like, I I really don't care if I uh, get white on this because it's gonna be covered anyways. And stuff like this. Maybe want to keep in in good, good, you know, condition, shape, contact. Um, not concerned about this part, the dash pad, because I'm gonna be getting a new one anyways. Um, and as far as this part goes, I think I'm gonna try and take this part off. I saw something on TikTok. I'm gonna try. Um, but I'll show you when we get to that part. So I saw this on TikTok and I thought it was a good idea. The guy put playing cards in between the rims, or in between the tire and the rim, so that way he could spray paint his tire. I'm gonna do the same thing except for the windshield. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a playing card and put it like that, and then I'm gonna tape it off. So that way I don't mess up my windshield. I don't get spray paint on parts that I don't want. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be me taking these old playing cards that my grandma gave me, just putting them one by one, just like that. Just like that.
gonna finish off uh, doing all the blue panels that I just turned white. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything down, do another white coat, I do a clear coat. I'll probably do two clear coats. Actually, I'll probably just do one clear coat, just that way everything looks nice. So you saw me do this uh, piece right here. The vent is now black. You probably can't see it that well because of the, the cards and whatnot, but it's black. This part, I'm gonna sand down just that way because you can see pieces like this. They're kind of chipping. So we're just gonna go and sand it down so that way I can do another coat, like I said. This part looks pretty good. This part needs a bit of touching up as well. Some parts look very good. And some parts just need to be touched up on. So, uh, this part, back piece is looking pretty good as well. I put that part right there. The back piece needs a bit of sanding. Back seat looks pretty good. Probably just needs to be a, a quick clear coat on it. That piece looks pretty good as well. Just needs to probably need to do a bit of sanding and then clear coat and then we'll be done the majority
Welcome back to the segment. I figured out that you can take this off. I'm happy. Uh, first time I crawled under the car, so if I can take out the bolts for the bottom seat, um, I don't need that anymore. I'm just going to take off this part right here. So this is going to be the fun part. This, no, this is really going to be a fun part. You get to watch me struggle.